Hello guys! Hello! That was like half hey, half hello. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to the Buchanan family guys. You're awfully low down today because I don't have you on my tripod. I've got you sitting on a sitting on a set of kitchen rolls because I'm a classy YouTuber. But hello guys! Welcome back to the Buchanan family. Today we are doing food haul. I've been to Lidl and I also bought one of these little books guys. I will talk more about this. This isn't sponsored although Lidl man you guys should hit me up honestly i would be great to do a sponsored video with you guys great to do one but anyway i'll talk about this a little bit later but you can get five pound off with one of these guys so make sure you stay tuned if you want to find out who you can get five pound off little if you even go to little <laughs> but yeah i'm going to share my haul with you guys today i spent 57 pound i think it was and there's one thing missing because the kids ate it so I'll tell you about that, but let's go into the hall. So here is the overview. The kids are downstairs playing, guys. They are so noisy. See, because we have wood floors everywhere, they empty out a box of Lego and it just makes like the world's biggest noise. And that's what they're playing with. I can hear them. So if you can hear them too, I apologize, but we keep it real around here. So this is our overview. As I said, I was 57 pound and some pennies. I didn't get the Zaflora from Lidl so don't get too excited. But let's get into the haul over here. First up I got some, what are these? Romaine hearts. Lettuce. Helps if I look at the screen doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, got two pack of Romaine hearts. I got these British apples. I don't know if these are the ones we normally buy but they weren't on offer and they were only like 50 or 60 pence. So I actually got two bags of them. We got a broccoli, a bag of, these are just regular brown onions, I think you would call them. And a packet of spring onions. I also got a bag of organic fair trade bananas. Some blueberries, they had some blueberries and they looked nice sometimes. And I was like, oh, I love Lidl. I do love Lidl, I really do. But sometimes their blueberries are a bit meh like kind of smushy so yeah sometimes i don't get the blueberries and then i got this two kilo bag of albert bartlett rooster potatoes these are like red potatoes i got these to make not sweet potato they're sweet potatoes this is regular potatoes loaded baked potato soup i'm going to make that with some bacon and this and this it's going to be good i hope there's a flora i got from morrison's guys i love the winter ones love them so yes i stock up on them and then I got some red seedless grapes for the kids, a bag of carrots, these are going to go in dog food and what else are they going to go in? Just like eating, packed lunches, that kind of thing. And then you've got three big huge huge sweet potatoes, like this is the size of my hand and this is the size of the potato. These are huge and I got one for dog food and then two for us to have with dinner. I got a bag of Granny Smith apples, two cucumbers and a cauliflower to make cauliflower cheese on Sunday. Cauliflower cheese is my favourite. I had cauliflower cheese last night for my dinner, with my dinner, and it was delicious. Love cauliflower cheese. Some milk. I got some whole milk natural yoghurt. Because, to be honest with you guys, like the kids were eating like kind of like crunch corner type yogurts and chocolate mousses and they have got so much sugar in them. So I'm trying to kind of stay away from sugars and in that sense. So I got this, I don't know if they're going to eat this. I thought what I could do is kind of make like applesauce um, with some of these apples, which is like apple puree kind of thing. They could mix it into the yogurt, maybe that may like naturally speeden up. I don't know, we shall see. And then I got two packets of back bacon, one for breakfast wraps for the kids and one for the baked potato soup. A big old block of cheese. Now these, I spoke about these in my last haul, I'm sure I did, are 59 pence. 59 pence? 59 pence. 59 pence for vegetable spring rolls. Little mini ones, they're like this kind of size and you get 10, they're about the size of my thumb. And you get 10 in this packet for 59 pence. I think that is so good. If you bought that anywhere else, they would be a pound. At least a pound. A pound. And you wouldn't be like, oh, that's so expensive. You'd be like, well, that's good. 10 mini spring rolls, a pound. And you would buy that. But these are only 59 pence. Blows my mind. These are going to go and pack lunches tonight. If you're like, what do you mean? Pack lunches tonight, Paula. My, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do breakfast and lunch. No lunch and dinner round the other way 
So we have dinner at lunchtime and we have lunch at dinner because of the time Sky swims at. So I'm going to put these in their lunch boxes. Or Gail sadly does not like them, but Oban and Sky love them. So they'll get some each. They'll get like five each. And then I'll make a sandwich or something for our guy. That's what he asked for instead. And I do actually have a lunch idea, kids lunch idea video coming up, guys. I asked for some ideas over on Instagram, what kind of videos you want to see. And that was quite a popular one that was requested. So I'm going to show you guys what I pack in a couple of their lunches. And then we've got two packets of soft cheese. Now Little have went all fancy with their wrappers, their packets, their tubs, whatever we call this, with their soft cheese. They just used to be in little tiny thin plastic with like a little white, well it wasn't white, it was clear plastic lid with like a bit of tin foil, just like that over it. But now they're fancy now, it looks like Philadelphia, doesn't it? But yeah, still the same price. And then I got a six pack of these fruity fromage fries, and then two of these, this is the coconut and vanilla, and then this is the lemon. These are Greek style. The kids really, really like these. And then we move over to ham and you'll be like Paula that's not the ham you normally buy. I made two boo, well I made one boo-boo today. I got this ham by mistake thinking it was the regular ham that I buy. I normally buy ham that's got no added water to it and I buy the smoked one which looks very like this packet. Very like it. I picked up the wrong ones and I got two of them. Um, of course I did because I picked up the wrong ones. So of course I would buy two. These ones are only 80% pork whereas the one I normally buy is like almost all pork. It's like 96, 97% pork. So I'm not sure what these are going to taste like. The ingredients aren't ridiculous. There's like a lot of nitrate type things in it. I don't know if there's a lot of nitrates in the other one. But I got two of these by mistake. So we're just going to eat them because I got them. <laughs> So we got a honey roast one and a smoked one. I'll let you guys know next week. You'll probably see if I go back to my usual one, then it's because A, I looked what I was buying, and B, because these weren't, we didn't really like these. So you'll find out next week. And then I got a packet of beef mince for the dog, for dog food. Now you guys will be like, Paula, where's all your meat? You didn't buy any meat. I know, I got a roast chicken, no, didn't get a roast chicken. I got a whole chicken the other day that I'm going to roast for 90 pence and I also got some other things that we're going to have over the week and then a couple of nights, several nights of the week we don't actually eat any meat, that's a conscious de decision um, for health reasons, for environmental reasons, we're, we are trying to cut down on our meat. So yeah, a few nights a week we don't eat meat and then moving over here to kind of cupboardy stuff with some fridge stuff because I ran out of room. I got this for Thomas. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> oh, I need to go back to my bed. Okay, we got some peppered pastrami trimmings. And last week I bought Thomas, I didn't do a food haul last week, but last week I got Thomas pastrami and I made him wraps with it and he loved it. This week I seen this and I was like, oh, look at that. So this is literally like all the kind of scraps and offcuts from I imagine when they cut their slices all the kind of bits that are left over that don't fit in the size of slice that they want so this worked out for what 300 grams one pound 70 I think and the one I bought last week was 150 grams and that was one pound 35 so I'm getting almost double but I'm saving money compared to if I bought two packets. So if I bought two packets of the other one, it would be, what would that be, £2.70? Whereas I pay like £1.70 for this. So I save myself some money and I don't mind that it's like the trimmings that's going in a wrap. So we'll see what Thomas thinks of that. Then I got some lemon diluting juice. They didn't have any other ones. That was all they had, just like three whole boxes of lemon. People must not like it. I like it, it's pretty nice. I got these for the kids. These are, milk snack they're like kind of like a spongy biscuit and then like a cream it's weird it's hard to explain what it is but the kids like them i'll probably put them in pat lunches as well and then we've got some cheese singles processed cheese american cheese cheese slices whatever you want to call it thomas really likes these and toasties guys <laughs> really likes them and then the second it wasn't really a boo-boo as such, they didn't have any organic eggs. I normally buy these ones. These ones are from my house. They didn't have any today. So I just had to get the free range ones. And then we got a loaf of brown bread, wholemeal bread, four pack of beans, toasting beans, done. It's pretty nutritious. Do you know like these count as like one of your five a day? 
blows my mind blows my mind then we've got some chicken stock cubes some roasted and salted peanuts for the kids red kidney beans for dog food we only had two tins left and they were both bashed so i just got a bashed one and then some rice cakes these are lightly salted i'm sure the kids will like these with like some soft cheese whatever on them just as a little snack i got two packets of the mini wraps one for breakfast wraps and then one for lunches and stuff and then i got two packets of the full size wraps because we kind of use like one anyway and then if i'm making thomas wraps he eats two wraps for his lunch he's a big guy <laughs> so he'll eat two of them so that's why i needed more than my regular amount of wraps now on to my non-food stuff and my kitchen rolls i was balancing you guys on and an ice cream that has melted <laughs> So yeah, let me show you guys what I got non-food wise. I needed a lot this week. Normally I'll buy like one non-food item, but this week I needed everything at one time. So we got some antibacterial floor wipes. I have never bought these before, but I was watching Mrs. Hinch on Instagram and she used a wipe like this. These ones were so cheap, like 15 pence or something, and you get 15 wipes, extra large wipes, and I thought these would be good for the bathroom floor. Some deodorant for Thomas. Now, this is like, what would you call this? Washing liquid but not washing up liquid washing clothes liquid normally i use an eco egg and i do use it but i also like to put the tiniest like that amount of the cap just like that of liquid in as well so i bought a bottle of liquid when we moved into this house and i still have it so <laughs> it's almost done so and we used it for slime and stuff as well so i bought this one just to replace that some bleach for the bathrooms some scooters some cling film i normally buy the cheap cling film like this is the cheap tin foil wrapping foil i call it tin foil um but they didn't have any cheap they only had this one so i bought that instead some food bags for poppy's dog food some toilet wipes these are wipes so i get confused when people say we need toilet wipes toilet wipes like this or toilet wipes like this these are toilet wipes to clean your toilet these are toilet wipes to clean your butt so <laughs> i get confused which one is which so i got two toilet wipes these i do use as i said to clean the toilet because i don't like to use a cloth then put the cloth in the washing so i just use these and then put them in the bin these are also very good for door handles that kind of thing um, i don't use them it says you can use them in the kitchen like you can use them in those places but i really just use them in the toilet on the toilet and i use like three or four to clean the whole toilet and i've got two toilets and then a couple for the door handles so a packet like this will last me i don't know two months or something they last for a really long time and then some washing up liquid to wash dishes with not to be confused with with washing clothes liquid washing liquid washing up liquid don't get confused it's very easy toilet wipes and toilet wipes hmm see and they got some kitchen roll kitchen towels whatever you want to call these and i did also get a four pack of ice lollies this one has melted it is a reindeer can you guys see i'll put it in the freezer and somebody will eat it it came oh it's sliding um they came in a four pack they were delicious i didn't have one because i'm trying to be good but the kids had one each in the car on the way home salted caramel the antlers were salted caramel and they were delicious this guy gave me a little nibble delicious so yeah back to this thing guys this is a little brochure i got it delivered the other day that not this one and then they have them in the shop they have them and my one at the doors as you go in they have this one in a box and the little drinks not the little moments you want to buy you want to get the little moments don't buy it it's free <laughs> and this is has a voucher in it if you guys can see for five pound off a 40 pound spend so if you guys go and you get shopping from Lidl and you haven't had one delivered go and pick one up the voucher is valid for like four weeks so i'm gonna get another one if they have another one when i go next week and i'm gonna use the vouchers in them for the next four weeks and get five pound off the next four weeks i'm gonna do that because why would i not do that there's the voucher there right at the front <laughs> five pound off a 40 pound shop valid from the 19th of november to the 10th of december and i worked that out that's three tuesdays i do my shopping on tuesday and one monday 
for five pound off i will go shopping the day before i normally <laughs> go and i will so i can use four of these vouchers over the next four weeks and save myself 20 pound bargain guys it'll be good in the run up to christmas buying extra christmas bits because little have delicious christmas bits guys they really really do and christmas like stocking stuffers that's the shopping for today guys i hope you enjoyed it today's comment of the day it's going to be on the screen right here. Thank you for watching. I'm aware this is quite a long video. The hauls always are. I think I blabber a lot. I blabber a lot. I should have my own TV show just talking about food. A cook show. I should have a cooking show. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but thanks very much for joining, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment. It can be any kind of comment. I really appreciate comments because it lets new YouTube know that you like the channel. So if you leave any kind of nice comment, it really does help me guys. So thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow with a regular vlog guys. We've got some fun things planned for tomorrow. So make sure you come and check out what we get up to. Bye.